Here at Measure Square, we take customer service seriously. We incorporate your feedback and recommendations into our product so it's a best-in-class floor estimating software. Check out some of our partners like Starnet, Bonnets, Fuse, Sherwin-Williams, Flooring Liquidators, Right Rug, and more. With the Measure Square difference, you'll get cutting-edge features based off of real-world customer feedback, efficient workflows that help you get out more bids per estimator, and customer service that works as hard as you do. Hello, Ryan. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi, this is James from Measure Square. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good. All right, excellent. Uh, before we get started with our demonstration here on Measure Square's multifamily flooring software, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, go for it. Okay, excellent. So um, my first question for you is when you're doing uh, multifamily projects, do you typically work with new construction, like what we're seeing here where we're going off of uh, blueprints and PDFs? Yeah, this looks really similar to what I uh, normally work with. Okay, awesome. Um, that's great to hear. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't uh, doing on-site measuring because we do have an iPad tablet version that's actually great for use in the field. So I wanted to make sure we were talking about the right system. Gotcha. All right. Awesome. Uh, can you see my screen okay? Yeah. All right. Excellent. So what I'd like to do today is rather than going through a whole uh, technical process and going through the workflow specifically, I'd like to kind of just set up um, how the software can help streamline your process for your new construction multifamily jobs. Uh, there's several areas where we can save you guys a bunch of time and we'll also be able to increase uh, your accuracy so that you can get those projects off faster and have more competitive numbers so that you can move on to getting more of your plans through your system. Does that sound good? Yeah, sounds good. All right, excellent. So what we're looking at here in this view is our takeoff tab. This is where the majority of our workflow is gonna take place. Basically everything but generating our worksheets, which you can generate through this worksheet tab and our actual bid packet uh, will be done from this view. So you can see here uh, right now, I'm gonna go through and we've got this imported set of plans. In this case, you can see I've already got my unit A1 uh, drawn in and my products are applied. I even have my uh, transition material applied between the uh, the carpet and the LVP products here. And I figure we can go through kind of a tour of how that workflow is going to feel. And then we'll just trace out one of our units, apply some product, and then we can spend a little bit of time on the uh, the amenities or common areas. How does that sound? So uh, one thing to keep in mind is when you're working with the system, it's kind of a left to right workflow across these buttons. We have our import section up here in the top left where you can bring in your PDFs or CAD files. Uh, you can bring in more than one page at a time. The system easily handles, you know, dozens and dozens of pages. If you're working on a massive project, you know, maybe there's 60 pages you need to bring in. All of that can be done easily here through the import process. And then once you have those pages brought in, you're just going to have this little tab system down here in the, like what I'm seeing here at the bottom of my screen. So I have my unit A1. I can switch over to my B unit plan. We can click over to our amenities area. So that way you can get nice, um, it's an easy way to control the, um, the different units and everything for estimating purposes. Nice, that looks good. Okay. So um, to the right of that, we have our room drawing and shape menu. This is where we can actually trace out our rooms and modify the areas. So if we zoom in here on this S1 unit plan, I'll kind of show you the fast way to accomplish this type of drawing. We can go in and if we use our draw tool, we can start off by just clicking in here on our inside corner points and we can trace out the shape we're looking for. Now, in our case, what I'm going to do is just kind of box some things in here based off of how our product is going to be laid in. And I'll come back in and we can tackle those little areas with the, the stub walls and everything. So you can see, I'm just zipping around here. And you'll see now I've got this area traced in nice and neat. And then we can grab our draw rectangle tool and quickly uh, sketch in that closet. And we can go in. And I'll use that same free draw tool to just trace out this uh, closet area here. And you'll see when I snap to that corner point, I've got some magenta lines there. 
Um, this is what we call our autocomplete feature. So the program can see that those other walls are there. So if I right click, it'll finish drawing the room for me, which will save us quite a bit of time there. So that's just a nice little trick uh, when we're drawing out our rooms to make sure we're getting things done as fast as possible. Nice, it's very fast. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a quick uh, a quick setup here. So you'll see we've kind of fine-tuned that bath area. And then one nice little trick I'll show you here for this area between um, the bedroom and the living space is we can just go up here to our draw wall button. We can sketch these guys in nice and quick. Just kind of pick a couple of points. And now we can take our uh, divider tool. That way if we have a different product between the bedroom and the living space, we can just break out this region kind of like so. And we'll go ahead and say that those rooms are going to be labeled separately. So now, in not too long, we have this guy all kind of sketched out and ready to go. And we can take our product. We'll go ahead and put our product in the bedroom. And then if we have kind of LVP throughout, we can quickly go in, place that product in there. And all of this is just a simple drag and drop process, nothing too crazy there. And uh, if you ever want to see videos of how to set up your products while you're on your two week free trial, I'll make sure and send you um, some links to our resources because you'll have access to our free Udemy course. You can uh, reach out to our support team via phone and email, and they'll be happy to help you with questions while you're on that uh, free trial there. But so far, so good. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so the real nice thing about the system is, of course, if we needed to go in and put in door trim, things like that, build out a shower, um, we can do all that stuff as well. But the real time saver here is with this uh, unit S1. Let's say maybe there's 16 of these guys on the project. I don't have to duplicate this drawing 16 times. I can just pop down here to this tab, right click, go to set duplicate, and I can say, you know what, give me 16 of these guys. It'll multiply the quantities for us. And the nice thing is, is it's not going to share waste across each of those installations. So that way it's gonna mimic just like a real world job where you might be installing two or three units at a time and you might not have the shared waste to go between say, um, you know, unit 117 and unit 121. It'll just give you the quantities needed to do each unit on its own. So you'll have a safe real world quantity there. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, awesome. So let's pop over here to the uh, the amenities and kind of common area section, and I'll show you real quick how we can fill out um, this area. You'll see I have some nice uh, dividers in here. So you can use the divide tool for more complicated spaces like this kind of insert pattern. It's not just for um, breaking out simple room shapes. So we can use that draw tool like we were before. And since we have that autocomplete feature, we can quickly go through here, click around and grab these corner points. And then again, once we snap to that point, you'll see we have the magenta lines. We can right click. Now we've, we've traced out this common area and now I can drag and drop my uh, LVP one over there. And we can use the same draw wall trick to quickly tackle whether it's um, these areas here or kind of the breakout between these two rooms. We can sketch those in no problem. Nice. You'll see through it. this real fast. Yeah, Great. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? We want to be able to draw things nice and easy. We want to be able to put that product in, make sure our quantities are solid. But also, we want to be able to do those duplications, make sure we can get on to the next job, right? That's true, yep. All right, awesome. So, um, of course, you know, if we're working with other products besides the LVP and kind of the modular stuff, we can move our seams around by just left clicking and dragging them into place. So you'll see it'll kind of lock down this area with the red seams once I've made that adjustment myself. And then we can go up here to the top center to my estimate section. If I needed to change my layout direction for the remaining areas, I can just click on that horizontal direction arrow and it will change the, uh, the layout there for me based off of what I'm requesting of it. So it's a real uh, convenient way to work with your roll goods. Um, I won't bore you with all the details, but uh, the short story is when it comes to all of your roll goods, you can set up all of the settings 
to get you where you need to go for those real world quantities. You can put in margins. So if the room is built out of square, your pieces aren't gonna come up short and it'll basically just get you the numbers you need and you'll be in business so you can focus on the more detail oriented areas of your project there. That is so cool. That's really nice. Awesome. So uh, we of course have the ability to do um, wall tile. And like I said, you know, if you needed to do a shower or, um, you know, like a backsplash in a kitchen. So you'll see if I go here to my view 3D mode that we're building our walls in real time as we go. So if you did need to do any wall tile, you just go here and you click on the room and you would say view wall. And then if we had, say, this uh, laundry area, this wall number five, if we needed a little wainscoting or something there with some product, we can just find that wall. We can right click on it. And if we needed to build out like a backsplash or something, we can click in our two lines and we'll be fancy. We'll even uh, go to our awesome tile pattern library here and we can drag and drop a pattern over. We can use a generic item or pick something that we've custom made. We'll choose quick assign and I can throw that on the wall there and we'll get our quantities. Wow. So it's a, it's a real fast system. Um, the main thing to keep in mind is while you're learning it, uh, you'll have access to the team. Of course, we wanna make sure you have access to all the resources needed to get the most out of it so you can get uh, the return on your investment. And, you know, whether it's details like putting in trim systems on these walls, um, you know, building out full showers, whatever kind of topics you're interested in, we have um, little videos that kind of go through each of those different uh, levels of a project. So whatever you wanna focus on during your trial, you'll have access to that. So. Once we've got everything in here and our units are duplicated, you know, we've got those common areas drawn up. Our next step would be to go to this worksheet like I was showing you before. And you'll see we can generate spreadsheets and we can break it down in multiple ways. So you'll see here, I kind of have a unit by unit breakdown. So like, for example, this unit B2, you'll see we have 14 of these guys. And then here's all the associated quantities, you know, 989 square yards. Here's 15 unit A1s and so on. So we can see the single units. I've got another spreadsheet here for just my duplexes. I've got just my amenities showing up here with their quantities. So you can have as many of these worksheets as you need. So when you're working with your multifamily projects, whether you need your install team to just look at the unit quantities for what they're working on that day, or if you want to send a nice consolidated spreadsheet with all of that information, you can send that off and have everything consolidated there. And you can export this out via Excel. So if you did need to hand it off to an account exec or um, a sales rep to get pricing from your manufacturers, um, you can just convert this directly over to an Excel spreadsheet and they'll be able to take the ball and run with it from there. Wow, so, awesome. So far so good? Yeah, it's great. All right, really awesome. So let's uh, let's finish up real quick by I'll show you uh, what our project packet will look like. So I'll go over here to our print button and I'll just generate something uh, relatively quickly here. The nice thing to keep in mind is you can set up different profiles. So if you wanna have kind of a customer facing document, you can set that up versus say a tile installer packet or uh, an install packet for your Broadloom team. And you can set that up on the fly, uh, depending on what your needs are. So you'll see here in this case, we've got kind of our summary for each of those units that we've drawn out and multiplied in. And as we scroll down, you'll see basically we've got a unit per page, right? And that's just something that we set up when we're bringing in our documents. So if you did have multiple units on a page, you can just crop them to get this kind of single unit approach. So you'll see as we scroll through, I've got my unit and then it's 3D model, my next unit. In this case, you'll see we have the wall report with that backsplash, which is great for any of your tile teams. And then we'll have our 3D model of that and so on. So once we've got our packet kind of set up how we want, we can send that off as a PDF. You know, it'll bundle everything together into one packet that you can attach to an email or you can print a hard copy even to scale if you want for um, using it out in the field, which is pretty nice.
Any yeah, uh, any questions so far? You, what are, what are we thinking? No, that's really cool. I I really like how it all uh, packages it together. Uh, how do I get started? Um, yeah, great question. So if you go to measuresquare.com, you can click on our start free trial button, or you can schedule a longer demo with one of our team members if you'd like, and they'll be able to go through kind of give you a little bit of a more um, detailed answers to any questions or pain points you might have. And then we can go from there. So typically what we like to do is we'll get you set up with that free trial. We'll go ahead and send you some learning resources. We do have um, some great courses on Udemy that will help you get over the learning curve. And then like I was saying, you'll have access to our support team uh, via phone and email, even while you're on that trial. So once you're ready to make the switch over to Measure Square, We'll already know exactly where you're at, and we can do the handoff to our customer success team, and we'll just keep the ball rolling from there. Sounds great. Thank you, James. All right. No problem. Thank you very much for your time today, Ryan. I appreciate it very much. Bottom line is Measure Square Estimating Software lowers your costs, automates processes, gives you higher accuracy rates, helps improve sales, lower mishaps, and industry-leading implementation time. Thanks for watching and sign up for your free trial today.